Alright, what's going on guys? I am bringing you today some Black Ops 3 multiplayer information. So this is all stuff that has not been talked about in the esports reveal or any of the trailers or anything like that that we've seen so far. This was actually an interview that David Vonderhaar did. I don't know who he did it with. I found it on Reddit, on the Black Ops 3 Reddit. So I'll link the thread down below. You guys can go check it out and read it for yourselves. But I'll just read it out to you because he answered a lot of questions. Gave us a lot of key details about the game. Just some small stuff that, you know, can end up really making a difference between a game being really good and just, you know, okay. So, anyways, I'm going to go through all his questions and stuff and we'll see what he says. And there's a lot of good information about Black Ops 3. So, first one is... Will all the attachments be unlocked already in arena mode? And he said, yes, arena has all content available. You can also earn progress against anything unlocked in public match. So two things. One, this is amazing. It's like BO2, so you can have everything unlocked. You don't have to go rank up your character to play league play. The second thing he says is you can also earn progress against anything unlocked in public match. So I think what that means is like if you get a headshot in arena mode, that counts as like your headshots towards your gold camo in regular public matches. That's the way I interpret that. So that's pretty cool as well because that's something that was not there in Black Ops 2. The next question was, is there any development of colorblindness? He says, accessibility is very important to us. More details to come before launch. So there's probably going to be some sort of colorblind assist in the visual settings. So you can change that, but that's been in every COD. Next, is the ban and protect aspect in all multiplayer matches or is it just for ranked play? Bans and Protects and the Specialist Draft are in Arena and available to custom games with full control. So it's not going to be in pubs, just for competitive aspects, and you can turn it on in custom games. The next question was, will there be four or six people on each team in multiplayer? He says, most playlists are six on six, but we also have four on four and nine on nine. So two things. One, I believe when he says we have four on four, that's probably the Arena mode. I don't think he's talking about a regular just public playlist with four on four. And Ground War is confirmed with 9 on 9. And also, multi-team looks like it's not going to be making the return because he didn't say anything about it. But, you know, he might surprise us when the game comes out. But it doesn't say anything here about anything like that. Next question was, is there hard point in Black Ops 3? Obvious answer is yes. Next is, will I be able to switch specialists mid-game like switching classes? He says, no you can't. We will make you commit to this decision at the start of each game. So this is actually pretty key. So when you pick your very first specialist at the beginning of the game, you have to stick with it. You cannot be changing it mid-game to try to adapt to what the opponents are doing or whatever. So you got to make your choices very wisely at the beginning of the game. Next is, will there be emblem making and will it be as noticeable as in Black Ops 1 and 2? Yes, even more important and has new features like grouping and linking. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but... If you have any thoughts, leave that down in the comment section down below. Next is, how much is the time to kill? He says, fast, and we are still evaluating. Play the beta and give us feedback about it. So that's something to keep in mind when we play the beta is if we're killing too fast, we got to let them know. If it's too slow, let them know about that as well. The next one was, if I create a weapon with four accessories on Gunsmith and have nine slots used, can I add it to the class? He says, no, that would put the weapon over the 10 allowed. So... What I believe that to mean is that each of those accessories on the gun counts as a point. So he's actually getting like, what, 14 points or something? 13 points when he does that, and he's not allowed to do that. So can't be doing stuff like that. Next is, will competitive slash ranked play be on the Xbox One as well, or just the PS4? He says it's going to be on all platforms. Next he says, will all guns be available in the beta? He says, most weapons are... I just saw a near final list of what is in the beta, which means you will see it soon. So, we might be getting some sort of beta list that tells us everything about the beta before it comes out. Or maybe he's just saying, you know, the beta comes out in two weeks, we'll see it then. Next, he said, can we know about the prestiging system in Black Ops 3? He says, full details on prestige have not been announced, but we have something totally new and different planned. So, that's going to be interesting to see. They already confirmed that there won't be any bonus prestiges or whatever after Master Prestige, so... We'll have to see what they plan on doing with that. Next is, will there be different controller settings such as default, flipped, and southpaw in Black Ops 3? He says, yes, all the ones you would expect, and some new ones like Bumper Jumper. So, if you've never played Halo, Bumper Jumper is one of the controller settings in Halo. And what it does, basically, it acts as if it's a scuff controller, basically. Now, everyone knows the whole point of a scuff is so that you never have to take your right thumb off the aiming stick, right? You can keep it on there at all times. Bumper Jumper does the exact same thing, but in a different way. Obviously, it's not an altered controller. What it does is you use LB to jump, and you use RB to knife, 
well, it would be melee in Halo, but for Call of Duty, it would be to knife. So basically, it acts almost as a scuff, and then you throw grenades, I believe, with A, probably, and you throw tacticals with B, or maybe that's flipped around, whatever, you guys know what I'm saying. But, you know, it's always important to be able to jump without taking your hand off your aim, whereas it's really not that important to take your hand off your aim to throw a tactical, because if you're throwing a tactical, you're probably not in a gunfight anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So that's actually going to be a huge deal that's probably going to get overlooked for now, because that's something that all, like, the Halo players have always played on. Everyone plays on Bumper Jumper for the most part, just for that reason alone, so. And then the last two questions were just kind of, like, silly. He said, why am I still single? He said, this is out of my area of expertise, and look at me, I'm the wrong guy to be asking. And he says, will you marry me, Vaughn? And he says, yes. So that's the end of the Q&A with Vaughn. A lot of just small details, but important details that we got out of this. And I just wanted to share with you guys. So be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day. And peace out. You got a secret. Like you victorious. I'm back on a Tuesday. And fuck it feels glorious. I'm on the back beat. Sipping in the backseat. Listening to NSYNC. No, not Backstreet.